Hey my rockers, welcome to another study with me video where you don't just watch me study, but we study together. So in this video, it will be a four part video where in the first section, we'll be talking about glycolysis, Krebs cycle and electron transport chain and an overview. The second part, we'll talk about glycolysis in more depth, AKA Meyer pathway. The third one is pentose phosphate pathway, AKA hexose monophosphate shunt. And the last and fourth section in, of this video will be studying Etner Duderoff pathway. So let's start studying. Part one, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. So we have glycolysis. Now glycolysis is the oxidation of glucose to give us pyruvic acid, a couple ATPs, and NADH. We have our Krebs cycle is the oxidation of acetyl-CoA that gives us carbon dioxide, ATP, NADH, and FADH2. Those are our reduced electron carriers. Now these reduced electron carriers then go to ETC, electron transport chain, it is the cascade of redox reactions. Now, this energy is used to generate ATP. So do you think you got it? All right, I'm gonna test your knowledge to see if you know your stuff. So with number one, we have the cascade of redox reactions. FADH2 and NADH are used. There are electron carriers to generate ATP. So put number one in one of these three boxes. We have number two. It is the oxidation of glucose to give us pyruvic acid, a couple ATPs and NADHs. Put number two in one of these three boxes. And number three, we have the oxidation of acetyl-CoA giving us carbon dioxide, ATP, NADH, and FADH2 are reduced electron carriers. So how did you do? So number one is electron transport chain. Number two is glycolysis. And number three is the Krebs cycle. So it's two, three, one. We're gonna do this again. So here I mixed up things a little bit. So we have electron transport chain as one. Number two, glycolysis, and number three, the Krebs cycle. So I want you to match these up with our picture definitions. Picture definition here is a, the oxidation of acetyl-CoA going into the cycle, resulting in carbon dioxide, ATP, NADH, and FADH2. So is that one, two, or three? Place that in the first box. The second one is the cascade or series of redox reactions. The FADH2s and the NADHs are used, those are our electron carriers, in this process. And energy is used to generate ATP. Put one, two, or three in this box. Lastly, we have the oxidation of glucose to give us pyruvic acid, a couple ATPs, and NADHs. Now in this box, put one, two, or three. All right, let's see how you did. So for the acetyl-CoA going into the cycle, giving us carbon dioxide, ATP, NADH, and FADH2. That's our number three Krebs cycle. 
we have the cascade or series of redox reactions, electron transport chain, and that is number one. And lastly, we have the oxidation of glucose to give us pyruvic acid, a couple ATPs and NADHs, and that is two. So it's three, one, two.